Hello, people. I'm Detroit Miracle. Indeed. I am here to speak on the homelessness condition again. And you can never stop talking about that subject because it is so crucial to society to change things and remove homelessness. And you can see the populations of homelessness are growing. Look at all populations of people, persons, and things. They grow because it is in our nature to thrive and to do well and to accommodate ourselves to make progresses and all of that. So all populations, they grow, are meant to thrive. The homelessness condition is something that's an anonymy for mankind and creature kind because it's not supposed to happen. When you look at advanced societies, advanced countries, you know, advanced innovations on the world, but you still see people sleeping by the road and sleeping in tent cities all over the place. So the homeless thing is an anonymy. They've, but in a in a way, it's also tradition. It's crazy, but it's been around as an anonymy for thousands of years, and it keeps being preserved and traditionally carried through to other generations that would come. <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy. Like even when you mention the word, it's like wow. That's a terrible tragedy on the real. I know people would say going to prison is worse than that. And yeah, it's worse in some ways, but it could be hell on the streets too. I've heard some stories from homeless people and they weren't all great stories. They were terrible stories, terrible tragedy. They were all types and there is crimes too amongst the homeless population because there's a criminal element working within the homeless populations too. People assume that all homeless people are nice and level-headed, they're nice, caring, contributed, can, um, they're kind, or many think that many homeless people are like that, but they fell on bad times and hard times, but some people know that some homeless people are you know, they're prone to violent fits and stuff and to do violent things from time to time. Remember, that is always the smallest, slimmest majority of any population because there are decent people in the homeless population, just like every type of population and community. It's not just that homeless people, all of them are widespread lunatics and violent, but like homelessness can drive you a little bit wacky. It could drive you over the top wacky. Scroll under videos of homeless women. See the homeless population of women, not, not including men, to prove a point. So out of all those women, we know women have more of a paternal type of instinct as far as parenting you know, and they're more maternal, maternal as far as womanly, feminine nature, cares more about the kids and so forth. But it's tens of thousands of homeless women out there and they can't be violent psychopaths. You know, usually it, when I come across homeless people, they seem to be quiet to themselves. They're not bothering anybody. But, um, you know, but there's certain elements within the, the homeless population that commit crimes, but they'll commit crimes on other homeless first as a first thing rather than it being a secondary. It's because you're going to lash out at anyone closest to you. If you're a criminal and you are intending on doing violence, crimes, robberies, things like that, you're going to stay into your community because you're in that mindset. You feel like you got control over the situation in your own communities. So, so yeah, it's homeless people robbing other homeless people and attacking other homeless people and so forth because it's within their society, their community. 
Because homeless people tend to stick around other homeless people who are down on their luck because they would be better accepted by their own kind and their own peer groups. Yeah, folks. Yeah, well, thanks for listening. And I'd appreciate it if you give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to me, Detroit Miracle.